last year Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is gonna be a long video. I think uh, so grab your popcorn, you know, get comfortable and all that, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, this is my perfect Tekken. I like to add some stuff. Um, yeah, I just go over there. So, as far as game modes, you know, uh, offline content, it really is nothing but treasure battle versus battle. You know, it's story mode, which is you know, basic stuff. But you know, they should go back to the Tekken Five. You know. Slash tag team, you know, the ghost battle, which is pretty much treasure battle. Um, you know, like the mini game modes, like the Tekken Force and all that other stuff, yeah. So, you know, offline people can have some, you know, content to enjoy, stuff like that. Because now everyone want to play online and deal with some cheese, so, but shit like that. So, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, Tekken 4 Atmosphere slash Drive. So, the amount of characters we have in this game as of now, as uh, season 4 is over, so what is that, like 51 characters? Way too many characters, I, I believe. It's like, especially if you're a newcomer coming to this game and you just see that roster, it's like, what the? F <laughs> so, yeah, it just ain't freaking Super Smash Bros. Okay, let's see, this is Tekken. That's way too many. Uh, so yeah, so as far as atmosphere, I believe like, you know how like the Mishimas, you know, they always the main thing, but it's like, they always like dark with each other. Well, they they still are now, but it's like. They have a comedy aspects like most other characters, side characters, story they have, you know, like a goofy ending or an ending is like, that's it, you know. So, as far as drive, I want people to have a drive like, you know, like Tekken 4 endings. Like everyone has a, a, a good motive, you know, to enter the tournament, etc, etc, stuff like that. You know, with the serious atmosphere, you know, of course people have a, you know, the jokes and everything, but, you know, don't make a whole character ending just a joke or some shit like that. I mean. If they want to do that, they should have their real ending and then have a just a, a funny ending just just cause for every character. I think that would be, be pretty funny. So like you know how we got the gallery, so you have, everyone has an ending and then you can go lower and there's like you know just funny guys they thought of or something that'd be that'd be hella funny. So stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, more customization options. I played Tekken on PlayStation for like a year till I got my PC. And then seeing the mods and shit like that makes the game way different and stuff like that. So the bonding community should not carry the customization, <laughs> you know. So for a console, you know, customization is really lackluster, <laughs> really lackluster. Besides, oh, you can just change the color, and stuff like that. But like Tekken 4, I mean, the Tekken on PC they have clothes that's from old Tekkens, you know. I mean, Tekken like this Tekken 4 outfit I have on for Jin Poppy, you see, that's that outfit's not in the game. And it's only on PC, which is just stupid. They should just, you know, transport it from four, like they gave this uh, jacket hoodie. But other than that, I know there's some other mods, you know, like outfits that's not in this game, voice mods and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. But as far as customization, we need the Tekken 5 slash Tag 2 customization. Right, that's 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 what we put at. Some customization is pretty, it's pretty booty. Oh, <laughs> uh, as yeah, so far as gameplay. The amount of crushing in this game is ridiculous, but uh, I'm fine with the high crushing slash low crushing. Except Devilgen's up 4-4, four four, and I used to main him, and that and that move is particularly stupid. The animation is cool and everything like that, but that move is it even crushes some mids, which is really stupid, really dumb. Cause even Claudio's hot kick crushes some mids. That's that's really that's really stupid. But yeah, no more no more mid crush. I think you can evade like a back sway, I guess, or like. Yeah, mid pretty much just back sway. Back sway, that should be the only invasive option other than that. You can low crush, high crush some moves or whatever, but yeah, no mid crush. Because I'm doing a freaking CD3 with gins, the tracking mid. Fucking cussing me down for two under my <laughs> under my move and launch me. Like, I was like, oh, I, that, was just, that was just wild. But yeah, um, let's see, Rage Arts. I know like a high level, they don't use Rage Arts really to neutral unless they're, you know. Stuff like that, but Rage Arts in the neutral is really, really dumb. It's, uh, what is it? It's a freaking the scapegoat. You know, you could just use it as a panic move, pretty much. And I think that's that's really, that's really just dumb. Honestly, they should like. So you know how you put someone in a combo and you're in rage, and you have the option to do a rage drive or a rage art. I feel like you should just be able to just to choose. That's the only time you can use a rage art. You could you could use your rage drive in a neutral. Or a combo, but you cannot use your rage art in a 
you know, in the middle of a just neutral. Oh, you press Rage Dragon. Nah, that is, that is stupid. Yeah, so, um, as much as counter hits, I feel like this game has way too many counter hits. Like, I main Jim, but his 1 2 4 counter hit is really, is really dumb. Like, it shouldn't be a freaking a launcher. It should just been, I should just be able to get a follow up, I believe. Um, yeah, just the amount of counter hits is really, it's really stupid. But, yeah, I like to see more mini combos or counter hits, you know, mix it up between the the classic staple. Oh, I launched him, just do a staple. You know, I just, I think it would be more interesting, you know, they do a mini combo or stuff like that. Um, oh, yeah, then the amount of parries uh, in this game. Uh, characters having multiple parries is, is dumb. Like, Jin's punch parry is sick, but it's only a punch parry, and his regular, his regular parry, you know, he can launch certain moves that he, you know, parries is pretty cool, but a lot of characters shouldn't have a freaking parry. Like, why Leroy's parry, he should have one, but his parry is really dumb. Asuka, of course, should have her parry. Double G should not have a parry. I mean, his parry is sick, too, but he should not have a parry. Hey, Hachi has his punch parry. Steve has his punch parry. Warren shouldn't have a parry. He's all offense, like, why do you have a parry? I think who else has a parry? Marduk shouldn't have a parry. <laughs> that's really dumb. That's some like other characters. I know Fang got a punch parry, but his parry is that's it's pretty stupid. Um, yeah, besides that's pretty it's pretty good amount of parries in this game. Um, I mean it's cool because you know your your, your character's timing and stuff like that. It's obviously you just hold that crap. But yeah, that's pretty it's pretty pretty dumb. And Lydia, I, Lydia too. Like why does she have three parries? Like a right punch parry, a punch parry. In a low parry, that, that's pretty stupid. I think if you don't give her anything, she should just have her punch parry, I and mean, that's it. Not not that other crap. Um, yeah, freaking uh, Anna's got an auto low parry. It's, that's freaking stupid as well. Low, so, uh, what's his face? Libra has an auto low parry too. That's pretty dumb also. You really know. Yeah, but uh, now to the movement. I do this movement. I, everyone knows you have to create a back dash, so you know the movement is really. Stiff, uh, the side step it works at times, but you know, a lot of people can sidewalk anything, so yeah, I feel like the movement should be Tekken 5 slash tag 2. I should be able to back dash away because I should not back dash away, and then the move is coming faster than me, faster than I'm back dash type stuff. So, like, I shouldn't be back dashing and not get hit by a long range move or some shit like that. So, like, if they have a long range move, for instance, Gen 442, so everyone knows it's neutral to the left, so. If it's a long range move, it should be linear. That's what I'm thinking. So, you know, like, Fuck Around's 442, super long range, safe, wall bounce. That's <laughs> that, that is stupid. Or 441 plus 2. Yeah, 441 plus 2. Yeah, that would be really stupid. But, yeah, that's what, that's what uh, I think is perfect Tekken. But other than that, I think some of the little stuff from Tag 2, just like, I don't know, animations and stuff like that, I think it's pretty cool. Actually, I forgot to mention game mode. Let's make a uh, tag as a game mode instead of a, you know, a standalone game. So, for instance, you know, tag two everyone has more health. Uh, so tag, so tag the tag system will only be in, let's say, online and offline. Of course, like rank battle is strictly one on one. Player match, you can select one on one or you can select tag. So you know, if we have a group of friends, everyone's not just playing one on one, one on one, one on one. You know, so it'll be more interesting to have tag matchups. You know, let's have like, you know, me and my friend are from like I don't know Sweden or something going against you know these other two players, and then we're just playing. You know, sending out combos and stuff like that. But you know, two launches should not kill in this in this game. I say like three. So like you know, buff the health even more, combo scale damage a little bit more, stuff like that'd be pretty interesting. So just a tag game mode, I think would just be pretty interesting. So you know, you could have the tag two animations back. The grabs, you know, the stuff like that, so you can't just throw them away, stuff like that. So, you know, and then you know, you could possibly have that a tag system in a in a tournament, you know, like a actual pro tournament, like I don't know, Cherry Berry Mango and like JBCR on a on a team or something like that. Or then you can have like a one on one tag, you know, it'd be uh, pretty interesting. They're around a bit, all right, all right, so. All right, what I said, I forgot to mention that in the beginning. Uh, Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch y'all next time. I'll stop recording.